Welcome back to Muscle Mommies episode 38. I'm Alina. I'm Anna. I'm Nona. Okay, so basically we're going to talk, we're going to ask each other questions in this Shout episode. out to Suburbs Talk, yeah, right? So it's a little bit of inspiration from them. Yeah. I'm um, just going to ask each other questions, like topics. That we grew, uh, got inspiration from like questions from like online, maybe like their podcast as well. And just going to like debate, if you will. Yeah, basically ask questions and just see what like each other's opinions are and stuff. So I'm going to go first. We can go one, one, one. Okay, yeah. right, let, me, let me pull up. Pull it up. Let me pull up. Pull up. All right. That's a good one to start off with. Um, she I have, like, I have, I have room, several. Like, I have several that are like, like similar questions, but like they're all different. Like expanding but, on the topic. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But I'm going to start with this one because I feel like this one's a little juicy ish mm. okay ready is following girls that post revealing content on social media considered cheating yes yes well depends like did you follow them do you like know them yeah do you right like but you shouldn't you shouldn't follow them that's cheating you're it's literally like that's cheating why are you looking at other girls naked photos and like liking okay, it what about if you followed like they're a friend like okay your your boyfriend follows rebecca and Rebecca just starts posting like, just an ass picture, but like she he followed prior. You get what I'm saying? Is that cheating? Should he unfollow her? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Because why does he follow her? Is there any type of relationship? Yeah. Because I don't know if he finds her attractive. I don't have a relationship with. What if they're a friend? No. 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 I don't want you to be friends with a girl like that. But that's valid. I'm getting swayed. Because I was gonna say like it's not cheating. Look, I don't think it's cheating. I think it's ugly. I think it's cheating. Okay. You're not to being an loyal. It's cheating, yeah. Because why are you following them? What's I would the reason think behind it? I would think, you know what? I would feel cheating emotions, like, like that kind of same hurt, if they like engaged with the photo. But just following, I would just be like, ew, like why are you no, friends I, with this but person? But why are they following them? Yeah, well, why, can't, why can't they just unfollow them? Unfollow, because yeah. you know they see it. Like, do you not find me attracted enough that you have to follow another girl and, like, look at her body and low-key lust over it? You know what? Like, I, it's it's more of, like, I wish, like, I get what you guys are saying, but I just wish, like, not wish, like, I wouldn't be with a guy who, like, is into that kind of stuff. But, it, like, I would I would expect the guy that I'm into, like, let's say, like, this friend he followed forever randomly started posting, like, naked photos. He was just, like, ew, and unfollowed. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. But guys that- would just be like, why would I even unfollow? I followed them forever. It's like, mm. but why do you continue? Like... Okay, but let's put rules reversed. Us girls, do we follow men who post like shirtless pics and thirst traps? No, we don't. We're just because we're, so we're not attracted to that. No. Yeah, we're just so different. We're only attracted to like, like if you have a man, like your man, you know? Yeah, or like that's the thing. Like, why is OnlyFans so profitable? Right? It's because of men. Yeah. It's not even men who have OnlyFans, their main consumer is it's men. Men. Yeah. So it's like girls don't really like. But to be fair, there are, like, I will see, like, you guys ever seen those TikTok videos where, like, a guy dances in gray sweatpants mm-hmm. and sometimes the comments are, like, feral yeah. from girls? But even then, it's, it's like, so some girls, honestly, no, dude. I want to say, like, it we're is a lo- so- It's a lot of men. It is mostly, I would say 100%, not 100%, but it's a lot of men. A it's lot of men. men. But I want to say we're so deep in, like, an exclusive, like, us-only sphere, like, maybe, like, a few other couple other friends. Dead ass, like, some girls do have like their for you page like full of like guys Men. thirst chaps yeah. yeah they do dead ass like whether or not it's like half naked yeah. it's like you go across their for you page just like a guys would be yeah. like ass girls. shaking and girls dancing like theirs is guy ch- guy yeah. dancing guy flexing okay but like in reality because we're not like it's hard for us to fathom yeah. that yeah like us like when that thing comes on your fyp page like you're not gonna look at it like you don't get anything from it you just mm quickly like i don't care like when thirst traps it's come like on my stupid page, form I just, of like, content sh- yeah like i it's don't even look like, yeah it's so because yeah. i'm not like why would i want to look i'm not interested yeah i would yeah. like okay imagine like let's say if you could observe what your partner was doing mm-hmm. to expand on this question like if he's on his for you page and it's like a half naked girl and he like fully watches that video 
I'm gonna feel like cheated on. Yeah, yeah I would break bit. up. I would break up. up with them. But is that ju- like I can't tell if we're being? I feel like other people would be like you're being dramatic. No, nah. I don't think that's even slightly I don't think dramatic. That's dramatic. Like, why are you watching that? What you're obviously entertained. Yeah, I feel like it's so desensitized. Desensitized. I feel like it's, it's society has like made it okay. Desensitized. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You killed that, mommy. Yeah. You killed that. <laughs> I, had to think I kept about running it, it through it in my brain too. But yeah, I don't know. I would break up with someone immediately. Mm-hmm. And no questions asked. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, your turn. Do you ha- remember them or do you want my phone? No, I remember. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um. Well, this is one question going to two. Do you think it's okay for your boyfriend to have friends that are girls? Mm, yes, but you can't make new friends that are girls. Okay. Like you can't establish a new re- relationship with a girl. That I is a friend. To, I have to know them and I have to be friends with them yeah I eventually agree. that would always happen right like if it doesn't happen that's fucking weird right yeah. mm-hmm. like if he has a girlfriend and like you're dating for seven months and you guys just never meet each other yeah it's like he probably were, you probably met his homeboys why wouldn't you meet his homegirl yeah exactly yeah, yeah. Uh, okay the other what do you think no, and they can't think? be closer they can't they can't be closer they can just be friends yeah yeah no best friends okay, that's what i was gonna say is it okay for a boyfriend to have a girl best friend mm, how long have they been best friends why do i think that's okay fuck no i think that's okay i don't have a guy best friend i don't i don't I don't have a guy fr- best friend. I have guy friends, yeah. but they're not close to me. I like used that. to have a guy best friend, but now I don't. Yeah. Because you're in a relationship. Yeah. Dude, I would think that that's okay. Uh-uh. You know why? Because I saw TikToks where it's like, for guys, it's impossible to be friends with a girl because they'll always have some underlying feelings for them. Oh. And like I, I was like, you know what? I hear that so much. I'm gonna be honest. Like, and I don't want to believe it. Like, some part of me sometimes believes it. Like, I'll be honest. Yeah. Like, I resonate with it. But it's like my mind tries to counter that because then that means guys are not good. That means all guys are shit. Like, no guy is gonna see a woman platonically. So it's like we're nothing to them ever, unless we're sleeping with them or being in a relationship with them. And I don't want to accept that reality. Like, it might be like 90% true, but I don't want to accept it. Because okay, I want to well, believe that, let's say my boyfriend is not like that. So if I accept that reality, then that means I think he's a pig who can't have girlfriends. Okay. Because if he has girlfriends, he wants to sleep you with know, them. You know what? I wouldn't date him. I feel like the reason that I don't think that you should have a guy or a girl best friend is because no one should be closer than your partner. Yeah. That's facts. But you can consider someone a best friend and your partner. Yeah, the, but, but, closer, they're not, no? but then they're not they're your best friend. They're just your best friend. You know, so like that's what I'm saying. Like I, I consider like them my friends, because no one's closer than, than your my significant boyfriend. other. Oh, okay, so dude. You read, she just made a really good argument. That is good of one. the boys, the best friend is your partner. Yeah. Yeah. So then, yeah, I would. I guess by labels, they would be friend. Yeah. Yeah. And the thing is, like, okay, so for the longest time, I I'm I was hot. Like, you think I can open the balcony door a little bit? Or you could try. It would it be the too AC. loud, you think? Yeah, yeah, I would turn on the AC. You don't think that'll be too loud? That won't bring any, any audio in at all. It'll just bring air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try it, try it. Okay, you gotta Jeez. push it down. Okay, well, I got you. Okay, so basically, for the longest time, I thought it's impossible for guys to have friends that are girls. Because I believe that. Because I believe that. I solely believe that. But then I like, talked to my brother, right? Because my brother has a lot of friends that are girls. But your brother's wholesome, by the way. My brother is wholesome, yeah. But There you go, like an example of a good... Yeah, so I think it just depends. I feel like it is possible for guys to have friends that are girls and just view them as friends and not want anything more. Because I asked him, I was like, would you like, did you ever think about like any like romantic feelings towards um, one of your friends who, are, is, who is a girl? And he's like, no, never. That's disgusting. Right. They look at them, yeah. but see, that's because he's a good man. And, and they maybe look at them like he, he grew up with a sister. Yes, you know? yes, I feel like yeah. it also differs. Like if a guy was raised in like a household that's like all like brothers, I feel like. Yeah. I, don't know. I, I feel like it just depends where you, like how you grew up. Yeah. Not really if you have sisters you are. or yeah like, unfortunately it does have a lot raised. to do with that so like the way you grow up makes it easier for t- you to be a better man so when some people don't have like some men don't have those factors of like a really good sister a really good mother their work is harder they have to teach themselves all that stuff and 99 percent of the time they don't so they just end up like yeah the women are only romantic or sleeping with another thing about that like topic is like if my boyfriend has girlfriends before me like they existed in his life before me valid like they if they served you some kind of platonic relationship before i think that that can stay through our relationship like who knows what they've experienced together in terms of like platonically like friends are friends right mm-hmm. 
But if you make new friends, I'm never going to accept that. Because think about it. In what reality do you make a new guy friend? True. Attraction. Yeah. You are never, like, there's never going to be, you're going to see someone in public who's a man and be like, he looks really fun and develop a new relationship, new friendship with him. No way. Every new, new friendship, uh, unless it's met on a mutual ground, like, let's say I'm in a relationship we hang out all together. You bring your friends, you bring your friends, and I end up in that circle meeting a guy, yeah. and I spend time with him without my initiative, like a hundred times because we're in the same group. We can end up being friends because now it's like nothing initiated between us, but I saw his personality, he saw mine, he's in the friend group, now we're friends. friends. But to make, yes, to make new friends, no, you cannot. Like, what in what ground would your boyfriend initiate conversation and friendship with the woman because he's attracted to her yeah even on like let's say instagram like you're not gonna follow this girl be like she seems like she has a really cool personality like no one's personality shows like that through instagram it's just attraction yeah in real life it's just attraction only in like work settings maybe uh, no not even in work settings i feel like you see someone's personality like you were you're not friends with them you just co-work but why, why, but why are you trying to be friends yeah why do you want to be friends you're why? just solely it's work no, how do you, you you've worked in work? Have you worked in a work setting? Yeah, like everyone becomes your friend, girl and boy. Yeah, girl if and you boy. If you vibe but, with them, but only but at work. I'm never gonna like want to talk to them and hang out with them outside of work. Wait, really? Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't do it to everyone, but I did make some valid ass friends from work. No, I'm I'm talking about like, like, outside of work. Like but if I'm in a relationship, yeah, if you're in a relationship, if I'm in a relationship, I'm never gonna talk to. If or, you're not like, in a relationship. It's different. Yeah, it's different. But if you're in a relationship, why are you trying to make friends with guys yeah. to begin with? Yeah, even if it's in a workspace. Even if, Damn, even really? if you guys are seeing each other 24-7. Yeah. Like, f- fuck no. Uh-uh. Damn, I don't agree with this just a little bit. On the grand but scheme, I, I do, but just I a little think, bit, I don't I think I know what you're doing, but, but I'm, I'm thinking in the sense of, like, not, like, friends, as in, like, having contact outside of seeing each other in person because you're hanging out in a group. Like, If it's texting, one-on-one? Text like like yeah. texting, DMing, and Snapchatting, and like all that. Uh, that can we just talk about that? I literally don't want a man who has a Snapchat. That's let me tell musty. you why. No, let me tell you why, bro. Like I'm gonna sound so stupid. Like I, I bet like I sounded reasonable up until this point. But if you have a Snapchat, like y- I can't stand it. Let me tell you why. You are at, especially if you're Snapchatting women. What are you? If you're Snapchatting girls, oh, guys all day. Okay. In what planet is sending another girl pictures of you all day not weird while you're in a relationship? That's really weird. That's like so weird and we just make it uh, because Snapchat, listen to me, Snapchat is the most meaningless social media. Like if you are texting your homegirls, there could be depth and value to what the fuck you're saying. Like yeah. she could be saying, hey, could you recommend a cool shoe brand to me? Yeah, here. Like, hey, how's your day going? It, like you've known each other since you guys were 10 years old, 12 yeah. years old. Okay. But you're just, li- Snapchat, you can only write like six words on the screen. Yeah. So they're like, hey, picture of you like a picture of you after the gym yeah. a picture of you lifting like it's literally okay so like if i literally actively like and if you didn't do this on snapchat your boyfriend would get mad or your girlfriend would get mad if you picked up your boyfriend's phone and he's just texting himself texting this girl pictures of him all day that's weird right but we just let it happen with snapchat i think that's so weird that's like if okay. a guy picked up my phone my boyfriend picked up my, and i'm just texting a guy pictures of my face a pictures of me at the gym pictures of me post pump pictures of me lifting and i'm just like yeah we just can't Cause, cause, what? yeah bro i don't even snap like that at all i don't, no, even I don't use snapchat I don't use only snapchat. for snap memories that's the only reason why it's downloaded yeah. on my phone i grew i genuinely like i don't even mean to sound like an old fart in this because i don't know i'm not old but it's just like snapchat's being exciting after middle school i swear to god it's like after high school when everyone you would see what they were doing all the time people would take snapchats at lunch it was like a connectivity community thing it's like now i don't care like i don't really don't care yeah Yeah. the thing is like i i just don't know how to say it but i just had to spit that out i literally like can't stand a man who has snapchat like i feel like and i look past it because i feel like it's irrational but just also like sending pictures of yourself to someone all day in my opinion should never happen in a relationship i agree that's personal because because you know that you're trying to look good in those photos too it's not if you're taking a photo and like and again i don't know it's musty it's musty i said what i said it's musty yeah i said what i said Musty. all right i got i got a question i look like lord farquaad Okay, is a guy with no relationship experience a turnoff? No, no. I think that's hot. Low okay, key. but think about it logistically. Because I used to say this. I used to say it's very attractive, especially if it's by choice, mm-hmm. right? Like you can sort of tell when a guy's mm-hmm. relationship experience being slim is by choice. Like he's a catch, but he just is focusing on other things. But the obstacles that it comes with at our, like to me, our grown age to not have any kind of romance experience 
is a little bit of a turn off. Like I have to like see so many great qualities in you that I'm like, okay, I'm a, I'm ready to like go through a roller coaster but to try to build a romantic relationship with this person. They're like emotionally immature. No, Their communication skills are on zero. Like they get but, mad. They don't talk to you about it. But friendships, I would consider like you could like use those same things you learn from friendships in a relationship yeah i feel like i feel like it's just i yeah, think it's just basic respect true. yeah like you're you're not dumb like you know yeah. how a relationship works okay let me ask you something hmm. okay i'm gonna ask you guys something because i agree right like common sense wise yes but your first relationship be honest when you got mad were you completely communicative about how you felt or were you a little bit petty you were silent you, you guys would play games with each other all the time like first relationships are super like full of games yeah mm-hmm. like you're young right and and it's almost like when you're old and you don't have relationship experience it's almost like it, it re- reflects to me in my experience when i've had it with like one person it looks like my relationships did in high school like you're begging them to talk to you they're shunning you acting like nothing's wrong mm. they're taking hours to respond just because you did but they don't just understand that like this is just real life like mm. you're not teaching me like, you get what i'm saying mm-hmm. but in in essence i think it's a little bit of a turn on because i'm like oh my god like you chose to be single like you're focusing on other things but it's like a mission but i, I don't know i feel like when you're young you're just like immature and young with anything yeah you know but again, and when like, you grow you 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 get more morals you learn more things and, and your and friends are in relationships you're yeah. learning from your friends True. you know we're, we're, we're expecting them to be super observant though yeah. Oh yeah. You're but if they're not observant, like super like. But I'm not gonna get with a person who who's not those things. Yeah. I actually agree with that. Yeah. You know what? But like, I agree with that. But I also like had a bad experience. Yeah. So it's like I, I thought I was choosing someone who was super sweet, super communicative, super reflective, and then the romantic immaturity was through the roof, like through the roof. Like it made it impossible. Mm. I honestly believe it just depends on the, the type person. Of person. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. One hundred percent. Yeah. Your question. Oh, oh. She, man. Um, let me see. I love how she says she. Yeah. She. Um, okay. Okay. Here's a good one. Would you tell? Okay, this is kind of tricky. Would you tell your best friend's boyfriend that she cheated on him? Hmm. Best friend. So that's like, like my boyfriend. Like oh. like your boyfriend. Her boyfriend. Your boyfriend. Oh, fuck. Like I you. Think, you know what I would do? Yeah. I know for sure what I would do in this situation. I would, tell my, yes. I would not tell the boyfriend. Uh-huh. I would tell the girlfriend I'm done being her friend. Unless she yeah. told the boyfriend. Yeah. And if she didn't, I would stop being his friend. And I feel I like would stop, there, like yeah. hints would like if he's smart like i wouldn't just go rat it rat it out yeah. because i don't want to be like literally involved directly in that relationship yeah. um unless like he grew to be like a close friend like like you respect him mm-hmm. enough like to the point where it's like i can't believe she did that like yeah but i don't know i don't think i would snitch but i would literally like if you cheated on your best friend i would be like nona like your boyfriend i would be like tell him tell him what you did yeah. last night yeah and if you just don't I would just st- never be your friend again. I yeah. agree because I don't want to be friends with someone like exactly. that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 I yeah. agree. I agree. That's yeah. exactly, that's exactly what I was thinking. Yeah, I would like threaten yeah. you. I'd be like, you tell. Like, I would literally tell be like, him, I would, or I would not be your friend. You. I would like, I'll tell you, like, tell him or or we're, I, we're done. Yeah. yeah. Like, like, I, I, I would break I up with sure, you. <laughs> yeah, I think I would make sure we're that over. to tell the best friend like that's fucked up. Like, you should like you know. Oh my god, I have a follow up question. You like she's she's about to cheat. Uh huh. Like, I don't know what situation that would be in, like, but you see she's about to cheat. Like, mm-hmm. what do you do? I pull that bitch aside and be like, you're stupid as shit for doing yeah. that. Break up with him right now if you want to cheat. Exactly. Yeah. No. No, I don't stand for that. Mm-mm. Yeah, it's slimy. It's, it's slimy. It's slimy to let it slide. Like, yeah. if I saw it happening and did nothing and minded my own business, I wouldn't sleep that night. Yeah. Yeah. Then I would snitch. Like, if I was responsible, I have to snitch on myself now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> if someone cheated, came to me and, and, and said it, like, post, I would be like, okay, tell him. If I saw it happen with my own eyes and I didn't stop it, I would literally text him, like, you won't believe what I did tonight. <laughs> I let her cheat on you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah, at that yeah. point, I have to confess. Yeah, yeah, I took yeah. part like guilty in it. conscious. Yeah, yeah. I agree. I agree. Yeah, no. Fuck that. Yeah. Fuck that. You know what pisses me off? Sometimes hmm. I see, like, TikToks, and it's like, if my... If my homeboy cheats on his girl, I'm g- it's I'm gonna act like I'm blind. I'm like, Ew. yeah. I see that with the girl yeah. perspective too, though. I see that with the girl's perspective as well. That's so disgusting. It's so nasty. It's so nasty. That's disgusting. I don't it's know. Just, yeah, no. Like relationships are so sensitive. Like you're being vulnerable with someone. You're trusting someone. Like 
if you're if you have that desire to cheat like just don't be in a relationship you're obviously not ready and you obviously don't love that person like mm-hmm. it's just so selfish yeah. these people want their cake and they want to eat it too they want to have a romantic relationship they're but confused yeah they don't really they're not really all that into this person but yeah. they want to be in a relationship and and they do it prematurely mm-hmm. yeah. and they're too selfish to let go they want both things it's like bro like at some point you have to decide that this is not your world mm-hmm. you're sharing this world with people mm-hmm. and she like she's one of that he's one of them like you can't be selfish like i want to be in a relationship and i want to fuck other people and i want to sleep like dude like Mm -hmm. it's so self-centered musty yeah Musty, musty. i agree i agree okay we was that your question yeah Yeah, that was mine can i see i forgot happy happy being i'm i i cannot oh okay can exes be friends yes distant friends fuck no can't be can't be like regular ass friends can't no. be like i'm seeing you i'm talking to you all the time it could be like a happy thanksgiving happy birthday by the way no happy mother's birthday no i <laughs> really yeah no an I, ex no, is an ex. no no yeah an ex is an ex dude I, I out of mind out of sight am i, I naive? wouldn't have no i wouldn't have like a relationship but but you guys did something acquaintance yeah that's what i'm saying like, not if like i, I would call friend, no. friend but if i friend. see them in a random place i'll be like hey that's all hi yeah okay. let me Bye. tell you let me tell you my argument when le- when you're in a relationship right yeah. like for example you elena how much do you love rafi like like just scale to one to like fucking infinity how much infinity okay now take the romance out of it how much do you love him still infinity so what why on any planet if the breakup is mutual would this person be meaningless to you afterwards if they are meaningless to you afterwards it's like they had no value in your life uh. since like you're you're in a relationship and you love that person like imagine right now you're in a relationship and you love that person right this is like the best way to put it in perspective when you guys break up do you want them to not never talk to you again yeah because i'm always kind of have lingering feelings well uh, let, let's say a moment of stagnancy so you guys can both heal but they were important in other ways right it's like here's how i how i explain it i don't love this person because they're my boyfriend i love them because they're jake i love them because they're rafi i love them because they're that individual so when he stops being my boyfriend technically if it's a healthy breakup i should still value him so much to the point where it's like he if he meant nothing to me it's like did i even like anything about him to begin with no right the only reason i say that is because i would be heartbroken swear to god i would be heartbroken and i would think that i'm worthless as a person if i date someone and we just break off like mutual like i don't know what happens like no no hard feelings nothing but we break off mutual and he decides zero communications just because i'm an ex it's like damn you would think that if you had value outside of romance with to him that there's no way he wouldn't keep you around as a friend no i i completely disagree wow i completely disagree i feel like when you are in a relationship with someone it's so 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 deep that there will always be a part of you that kind of feels for them you know i, I don't agree I though think, and i don't think I, you guys could be friends there will always be something no. there um here's what i think me any talking i think things linger right they could linger right unless you do like the proper like i think there needs to be a period of where like no contact because you guys that's the only way you guys are going to move on you have to like move on with your life like do things without them see people without them friends it doesn't have to be romantic but if i get in a new relationship i would never do that if i linger had linger feelings so that's what makes it even more okay in my opinion like if I, like I would never be talking to an ex frequently, but mm-hmm. I'm saying it's to the point like if my ex texted me, he was so valuable to me at some point. I'm gonna text him back. At, you know what? At what point that would stop? Mm-hmm. Like if I'm like near getting engaged, if I'm near getting married. At that point, I think there should be no guy friends. Like, does your dad have female friends? No. Does, do, you know what I'm saying? Does your mom have male friends? At that mm-hmm. point, that's where all that all that goes out the door. Mm-hmm. But while we're young and there's a community, it's like I could never ignore or make someone feel like they're zero to me. When it's that's just so wild to me. That that thought breaks my heart. You have all these experiences with someone, all these memories with but someone. But exactly because I have all those memories and experiences with someone. Like, I'm, if, like I'm, if I'm in a relationship with someone, I would never be friends with my ex. Like, so they texted you, you would ignore them? Yes. Wow. Out I of respect never. for my partner and out of respect for myself. I would only I ignore would them if my partner, partner, if my, if my, yes. I would tell my partner, but I would only ignore them if my, my ex is like crossing boundaries. But I mean, yeah. I would assume if I kept him around, it's because he's a good person. So he probably sees it from the perspective I'm seeing it that like, we're, we're valuable to each other. And that doesn't mean like, 
But okay, let's see. Your guy friend, okay? Let's say you have a guy friend. Mm-hmm. That's different than an ex. Who was a guy friend? Who is a guy friend? Why Who would it, be considered a guy friend? Why is it different? If you why have moved on and into a new relationship. Why is it different? Because a guy friend never has access to you in Intimately. a romantic, intimate way. Yeah. When you're romantic and intimate with someone... Like you just never look at them always, again yeah. when you're done? No, 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 no. When but you're ro- no, that's what I mean. No, no, no. When you're romantic and intimate with someone, you will never look at them the same way as you look at your guy friend. And because of that okay, difference... Okay, but what does that mean? You're going to look at him romantically? No. no you just, just look at them light. in a different way, but it just feels wrong if you look at them in that type of different way when you are in a relationship with someone. My, uh, I, res- I respect I had, your opinion. Yeah. Yeah. I respect it, but for some reason, I just can't agree because I know that if I am in a new relationship, zero part of me, I zero ounce of me is romantically interested in my past, in anybody else, in new, in new things, in old things. So when I see him, yes, it's a different light than before I experienced him intimately. I have an ex, and before I experienced him intimately, I saw him one way, and then after we were in a relationship, I saw him another way. But that doesn't mean like crossing boundaries, kind of, but it's just more of like, he's a new person. But that's just what it was. It is what it is. Mine, I, anything like romantic literally dissolves in my brain from my past relationships. No, I feel that like I like my ex feelings, like, right? Yeah, the, the feelings in anything intimate, it yeah. just it like I don't remember it. it yes, just, it, yes. It's I gone. don't look at him and see that because but I'm it, so absorbed by my new. And it's literally like removed from my brain. I I, I think I honestly feel like that's kind of like part of ADHD. I, I feel like I can relate to the fact that it like memories wipe for me. Yeah, yeah so, same, no, I agree. I remember it being good. But, but like I everything, don't, like details. It's not like I look at him and, like, and I'm like, "Oh my god, remember the day at the beach?" Yeah. Or I, I can't recall specifics. Sometimes I just remember positives or negatives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like I can look at my ex and associate it with positive. You know what I'm saying? I can look at maybe a person who wasn't my ex but like did me wrong and see him and associate it with negative. Mm-hmm. But it's like I, but I to, like I totally respect what you're saying. I, yeah. But like I think this is like a literally like a 50-50 divide in people. Like yeah. it's very common for people to be like, no, you can't be with your friends. Why would you ever want to be? And for other people to be like, I don't care. I just think if you're close friends, like you guys are talking, talking, like you text on a weekly basis, like mm. no, that's weird as hell. Like it's gotta be like literally acquaintances, like you would text a coworker. Yeah. Not I like agree. you don't have to be like, have a good day, see you in three months, like texting formal, but f- as frequent as a coworker. Like yeah. nothing more should be coming from their relationship. Just Mm-mm. I think respect. Like, yeah. I wouldn't ignore them. Yeah, I agree. Um, mm, I, don't I don't know. I still I still believe that exes can't be friends. So wait, yeah. what do you think? You never fully said they can't be friends. Me? Yeah. Acquaintances. Okay, so like what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, fair. That's fair. You just asked the question, right? But yeah. that's basically what you said, too. Because friends... I, no, no, she I, said she would if, ignore them. No, no, no. She if, said, if, if I saw my ex your exes in, in are public, diff- if I saw my ex in public... I would greet I them, like, say hello. Hi, and how are you? Have respect. You know, yeah. I would have respect for that person because obviously we had history. But that is all. I would never text them. I would never have them involved in my life. None of that. That's fair. They're gone, wiped out, and done for. So they text you. You don't text them back. You see They're them in person? They're blocked and deleted. Wow. <laughs> That's what I mean. But why block if, if they weren't mean to you? Because I don't think she... You Have you had a healthy breakup? Yeah. Dude, yeah, you're, gonna, you're gonna feel so different once you have somebody who's so good to you and the reason you guys break up is like just casual like it, it who knows what it is it could be feelings dwindling it could be just your lives being on different paces and you're gonna realize that like but i agree every single person who's done me wrong but, th- but honestly yeah. i'm stupid like if you text me i'll respond but it's also like, you have zero place in my life yeah. like if you ask me a question that's even slightly intimate like hey what's your birthday again you're not getting answered but if you send me hey i'll be like hello i'll just see what you want but like if you've done me wrong before the respect really isn't there but if you haven't done me wrong and you've given me nothing but good my entire life outside of romance like i'm not even recalling the romantic aspects of it it's just like they care like you got to think about it in a relationship like that person's going to be there on like your dark days i i will always love that them for that just like i always love a friend for that like if i call you crying and you comfort me right like you've comforted me crying like a bunch of times. Let's say we just stop being friends, not because we hate each other, but because like our lives go separate ways. You call me one day, you text me one day, like I am ride or die for you still. Like because you valued me as a person. But I don't know why it's hard for me to like separate that from someone that you were romantically involved with. 
I think because you were romantically involved with. It's the intimacy you're thinking about, I think, right? I like, think like it, because of that, I just can't be friends with you. And it, if, if I'm in a relationship, I definitely can't be friends with you. Yeah. I'm definitely gonna, yeah. can't be friends with you. Yeah, I, I respect it. Because I'm, I'm thinking like if I was in a relationship, I wouldn't want my like boyfriend to be friends with their ex. Yeah. That would bother me. Yeah, I would, I would be fine with them being acquainted. I think that's, that's the difference. Me too. Acquaintances, it's, yes. Like, if you see them public, say hi. No, but like, friends, text, like, oh, fuck that's no. not the public. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because public, I feel like you have to. There's an oh, awkwardness. No, 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 no. Like, you, you if you text people, you, that person, we're done. If you text yeah. that person, we're breaking okay, no, up. They, they don't really initiate need. it. The person texts them. Okay, but you shouldn't be responding. Okay, that's what, I, that's what I'm asking. Okay. You should not be responding. I wouldn't care if they responded. Nah, I would care. I would want to know. Of course, I would want to know as well. And I think the way that they respond matters. But what's unfortunate is like, I'm never going to be like, can I see the messages? Yeah. I would just hope that they think like I think. And the responses are always going to be some kind of like, but dry. if you're respectful, with them. not even dry, but it's just like, hey, how are you? Good. How are you? Like, I think kindness, like they can be kind. They don't have to be dry, but it's more of like, I don't know. Like there's some people who are slimy out there. Like yeah. who knows if their ex was slimy is, is, is slimy or isn't slimy. I think I have trust issues. That's why I have yeah, trust issues too. too. Yeah. Like, I would be okay with it, but I promise in the back of my mind, I'd be like, I hope they're handling it like I would handle it. Because I know that I would handle it in a respectful way. Yeah. yeah. You know, but then a part of me, that's where my trust issues kick in. I'm like, is their ex slimy? I hope they're, if they're comfortable talking to their ex, it's still, the person's a good person. Like, the only exes I'm talking to are good people. I hope they're not entertaining something they shouldn't be entertaining. Like, if you get a weird text message from your ex, that's a block note response. Yeah. They cross the boundary, especially if they know you're, you're in a relationship. True. I would, I would also, if, they are willingly trying to have a like any type of relationship with you still. Yes. Like yes, yes. They like show trying some to interest, see you. Yeah. I think like what initiation. it is, is we, we are thinking acquaintances. She's thinking No, friends. she's thinking you will not talk to them in any site like like no, way. No, but she's she's thinking of this question as in like friends, friends, and we're thinking as it like acquaintances, like if they reach out. No, I'm thinking like best friends is weird, friends is normal. Yeah. But I think But like, what do you consider a friend? Yeah, I mean I consider a friend anybody that would call me a friend. Yeah. Like they'd be like, I can text Autumn and she would respond. Like Autumn's a friend, yeah. Like if someone's like, someone came up to you like, oh my God, do you know? Like if someone came up to me, it was like, oh my God, do you know Nona Bayat? Do you know Alina Christina? Christine, right? Mm-hmm. Christina. I would be like, yeah, she's my friend. But you guys are actually close to me. That's so different. But it's like if someone came up to one of my like college friends and said, do you know Indici? They'd be like, yeah, Autumn's a friend. I literally probably haven't talked to them in seven months. But I am their friend. They hit yeah. me up and be like, oh my God, what's up? Nice to hear from you if they have something to tell me. And if I was an ex of of someone i would be like and someone asked me like ah, 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 dina blah 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 I'm like we used to know each other i could all. see look let me tell you something like, that I response that, we're not friends. Friends. that response this is so funny because that response is exactly what come out of my mouth if my relationship ended bad and that's yeah. all the experience you have if someone if my relationship ended bad and someone asked me do you know them i'd be like yeah i knew them yeah i knew yeah. them. That's they were cool yeah like cool. oh yeah we we used to be like friends that's it. Not even like we used to date. I would be like, yeah, we used to be friends. Yeah. yeah. That's it. And that's, it. I could see it with when you say it, that that's exactly what I would say if my relationship ended bad. But other than that, if it ended good, like, oh, do you know Bob? I'd be like, yeah, Bob's my friend. What's up? Like, why are you asking? Nah. Yeah, I know Bob. I just can't. Jeez. An ex is an ex. Yeah. Pass. Like, ex. Marham. <laughs> <laughs> ex. <laughs> Never thought, like, demon. Like, <laughs> your turn. Question. Okay. Shawnee, look at me. In my okay is it i know the answer for this one though but i think this would be a good topic to talk about is it okay for your partner to watch porn no, no. that's cheating I think cheating, cheating. Mm, yeah but like do you guys think it happens like how do you control I, I also agree that i would not want my partner to do that but what's what's the chances they're actually not doing that because of how common it is for a man to do that i would just pray i would just pray I just pray to God. <laughs> shit that's why i'm with him 24 <laughs> 7 <laughs> that's like impossible <laughs> dude guys like i used to be with them 24 7 that they have no no, no like chance. what are you gonna be like dude guys like will like they're slime. jack off in the shower you i remember no, but, people in college but, saying that especially because they lived in dorms like the times that they would do that is like when they would the only times they had like alone time was like when they would go to the bathroom but i would hope that the guy that i'm with or the guy that I clearly i'm with only like doesn't need anything else just you yeah, know? yeah, yeah, that's what I be saying though. Okay, but you're gone. There, there are for, guys like a, that. You're on a are month's guys trip. Like that. Still, no, but I, there I are agree. guys like I, that. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Like you're, on, you, you're, he gives you, you give him everything that he would need. He gives you everything that you would need. But you go for a month somewhere. Like, 
you know what i just think that like this is gonna i don't I know think, if this is gonna sound weird it's just like i think masturbation is normal i think watching other people to masturbate like porn is not normal if you're in a relationship like like you should just use your mind like if your partner's not there you get what i'm saying like how is it okay to watch other naked women like how is that normalized though like or like why is that not cheating to some people it's cheating it is cheating you're literally watching like naked women <laughs> you naked know women. what the, the the relationships that are like oh we watch it together those are the same 50 50 people Ugh. no the people it, the people who say we watch it together those that's a girl who's literally like been just broken down by the world the world and she thinks she's winning but really she's just losing yeah. i bet all they watch is women getting slammed and she thinks that she's winning in some way like it's like dude like he's receiving more from this yeah and also it just it's just weird like uh, i like the same thing with the snapchat concept like would it be weird if like you guys walk past an alley and like two people are having sex and your boyfriend just stands there and watches and like ew. and like gets off to it like yeah that would be weird so why is it different why is it be on a screen he's looking at other naked people is that not cheating that's cheating like i know that he doesn't want this person well maybe he desires like whatever he's looking up they but have it's more to of, like, be desiring so that if they're watching it yeah and if it's getting them off people's argument is like they don't know these people they're never gonna see these people but it's like ew uh, i just can't something about it like and it's it, it annoys me that it's so normalized to the point that people are like it's so normal like what do you mean that that's cheating it's I, maybe uh, it's not cheating it's cheating yeah, i think it's cheating it's cheating yeah i think it's cheating too to be honest like i keep going back to the fact that it's just another naked person <laughs> and then the naked person that they're doing it. yeah no yes yeah. oh and then i have a question to pop off that if you are on i just yeah i'm done i'm done i'm done and i think it's the same thing go okay subscribe to only fans but that's worse oh, yeah, cheating cheating you, you cheating chose a specific so women and you chose you chose a specific woman and you're paying money this is like buying a prostitute no would that not be cheating yeah that's cheating you're spending money to specifically like ejaculate to another you you are this is initiative this is worse than just mm -hmm. going on like random porn websites and then following only fans creators on social media yes yes, yes. oh but yeah we cheating. talked about that a little bit in the yeah. beginning cheating yeah Cheating. that's just ugly too like i'm pretty honest i'm not gonna like someone who does that that's like, disrespectful if, in terms of like watching porn i'll never know right you're like, weak who really talks yes you're weak you're weak you're weak you're weak. you're weak and you can't you can't handle temptation or i don't want to be with someone like that. because that that is cheating because what if someone came up to like okay they're watching porn they're getting off to it okay <laughs> what if a girl came up to him and was like stripping in front of them it's Wait, he it's, would the be turned it's the same thing. Would be turned but they out. act like it's Those different because it's behind a screen. But it's not. It's not different. It's not different. It's really disgusting. Because then it's it's literally in person and yeah, no, it's not different at all. It's I I different. think watching porn can lead to cheating. Like it is cheating and it can lead to physical cheating. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. I also just think that like I, and we talked about this like it, you're weak the temptations but it's like if you are just like strong minded like I just don't like if especially if you're in a relationship like you're in a relationship where like you guys are probably like physically active with each other like on a decent like normal pace like it's like you need more like you get what i'm saying like it's like you're addicted in some sense like it's like imagine having a relationship and having a person and still wanting to watch porn daily like at that point i would just evaluate like maybe i have a problem yeah right and it's, maybe you're not in love with them yeah it's like if every single day like no lie like this is just like a regular like reflection if every single day i wake up and the first thing i want to do is eat hot cheetos by like two weeks i'm just like there's a pattern there's an addiction like maybe i should stop that because i shouldn't like the first thing on my mind is hot cheetos like you shouldn't have a daily routine of opening up your laptop watching porn and masturbating in or out of a relationship in a relationship you're being a weirdo out of a relationship it's like you're also i still like think it's sort of like just off-putting like you have an addiction that you need to address agreed agreed yeah it's disgusting it is it is and so sad how it's so normalized in our society yeah, it is to the point that i hate i hate hearing I feel like girls say like i wouldn't care it's so normal like i watch it too you're defeated you're defeated honestly you're defeated you're defeated and you're accepting it yeah Sorry, I said what I said. No, say it louder. Can you get closer to the mic when you say you're, you're defeated. 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 They won. Some. They yeah. won on you. They won. How are you going to let a man win over you? Uh-uh. I don't know. Like, literally, it just, like, I feel like, honestly, if you're a strong-minded person and you have your shit together. There's other more important things driven, in life. And you're driven and you're, like, satisfied with the life that you have and you have a good heart, pure soul, I feel like 
temptations like that don't even like tempt you yeah. like it's out of sight out of mind you won't even think about it yeah like because you're so in love with life and you're so in love with your partner your passions and your partner and you're satisfied that like why would i have an urge to do that yeah no and it's i like don't if that, if that sexual urge comes up it's t- in a relationship it should it's be passion, tied in it's love yes it should be tied so deeply to specifically your partner that you don't think about pulling up your phone or your laptop it's more of like if that desire comes up it's like a desire with your partner yeah. that's what's driving it it's partner. not just the desire yeah yeah, yeah so that that's that pa- oh. I just kissed the mic period mm. per yeah <laughs> per, per, per. yeah i love when nona says that <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. I think it's a. This was a unanimous channel. question when normally it's not. Yeah, we love that for us. Yeah, in girls. <laughs> Your turn. We hate porn. <laughs> <laughs> we hate musty. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, okay. <laughs> Podcasts are so fun. It's be honest, fun. it's I love really them. fun. Yeah, I feel um, like anyone who listens to us like really knows us. Yeah. Okay. Kissing or having sex, which is worse? Like as in cheating, sex, sex, both, both. I mean, obviously both. But you gave it an option, this or that. <laughs> I, 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 I don't think I, I'm really gonna think about this. I'm gonna think of like which would hurt my feelings more. Both, but if you're having sex, no. Like, if you have oh, to choose may, one, maybe because like for me, it's like sex is such a like yeah. sacred thing. Yeah, it is. But like, do you believe the fact that like? Well, I would like to think that my partner wouldn't be like this, but I don't know. Like, I have that, like, the little, like, men are men thing in my yeah, head that I combat it. Like, do you think a man can just be overtaken by his desires because I feel like some men are just naturally, like, weak when it comes to that and just have sex to have sex, but it means nothing? But do you think he just kisses to kiss? Mm-hmm. Like, do you think a man would ever just kiss to kiss? Oh. Like, he kisses and he doesn't have sex with her. Like, he I'm kisses her right goodbye. Now. Like, they oh hung out. It's like, and it's, isn't that. That's more, more, like, more intimate. Yeah. Oh my I feel God. like something led up to that point. I hate man. Like, and, like um, <laughs> I hate it. This makes me want to like literally move to an island and not have any man around. They didn't do this. They didn't do this. They didn't do this. They won't do this. We will find the good but one. But how do we know? Affirmations. <laughs> no, affirmations. <laughs> affirmations. I can't have three weak beach. We, don't, we can't all be weak. Please, I'm being dead serious. You guys keep saying this. I'm going to lose faith forever. Like, stop it right now. <laughs> like, I have to combat these thoughts and you guys aren't Ew. helping. <laughs> You guys aren't helping. I believe. I'm just trying to be left alone for the rest of my life. I believe there's like one good man in every city. I'll find him. (laughs) Don't laugh. Don't laugh. laugh. I will find him. What if he's like 60? Like, if it's just (laughs) one, like, what are the odds he's my age? Like, okay. So, what's worse? Kiss. Right? Now that I put a little background story to, like, I I think I would rather die. I would, yeah. I would literally rather. I'm telling you right now. But if if he had sex with I would never. <laughs> yeah. Both. You know what? I'm I'm gonna tell Both. you my reactions. You come to me. How would I figure this out? Like, let's say he's confessing. Like, on what planet would a man ever confess to doing this? But let's say he comes to me and is like, "I kissed somebody last night. Like, we hung out and I kissed her." <gasps> you have I feelings would, for them? Yeah, one hundred percent. I would cry in front of him and I would probably tell him how much it hurt me and then I would end it. Like, I, w- I would like explain the hurt that I felt because he invo- it, like created like physical and emotional intimacy with someone else he comes to me and he says i slept with someone else I'm like literally like bye zero communication like mm-hmm. i would tell him get the fuck out mm-hmm. that's it like one would be like you're disgusting and both of them are disgusting but one would be like i'm so emotionally hurt that i would probably express like how fucked up it is mm-hmm. the other one would literally be like i don't want to see your face like i think of you as a pig yeah. but the other one I would literally just you know what would hurt about that I wasn't enough for him and he found someone he loved more yeah. and in the end like yes I'm upset that he uh, he was with me when he did it but in the end I wasn't his love Yeah, he loved that person more it's like okay be with him and I would express why I'm hurt because he cheated on me but at least like that shows moral right like he probably realized he liked this girl more and instead of breaking up with me first and kissing her second it happened so fast he kissed her morally wrong I would never do that mm-hmm. but let's say he does that comes confess to me I would cry in front of him and be like okay like it's so sad that this is how we move on like you find somebody you love more because that's obviously what that means but you sleep with someone else it's like get the fuck out of my face you're Slimy a pig. dog yeah like you're gone you're gone yeah yeah and i wouldn't even talk to you damn no literally this podcast is gonna cause breakups <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's for the best Dude. 
you want you want your questions no i know it okay um I actually this is like not in part of the questions mm-hmm. but i literally thought about it how would you feel if your boyfriend's best friend would send him pictures of like naked girls and be like damn she's fine i would want him not to be friends with them no, you 100 percent ew 100 percent because because then i'm like thinking why is he comfortable sending you those pics yeah some 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 people are like some people are like that like even girls with girls so i, I was almost said guys that's why i just changed my yeah. my terminology but girls with girls will do that like look at this guy he's so hot like and they're they send that to their friend who's in a relationship as a means of like i think he's so attractive look how fine he is but they don't even realize they're crossing a boundary right like mm-hmm. your per- the other person shouldn't be looking at photos like that and agreeing let's say mm-hmm. or disagreeing right like you guys are rating other men and women but it's like at that point like i think that he should be like this friend is like weird wait okay let's say let's say like i would expect that let's say that you let's say i was in a relationship and you were sending me photos of like naked men i would be uncomfortable like bro don't send me stuff like that i don't want to see it i would say that and they would not send it anymore you know like once i swear once i did something like this and i immediately realized how bad it was not even a naked photo it's literally like i think it was um no it it was to my sister my sister's in a relationship for years okay and i thought a guy was cute who i just had started talking to Mm -hmm. and i showed her a picture and I was like, oh, do you think he's cute? And I immediately was like, yo, even that's sort of wrong. Even though it's not even extreme, but like me, I felt guilt doing that in that moment because it's like, you wouldn't want your partner to agree or disagree with that. Like they might be totally okay with it because it's so mm-hmm. casual. Like obviously my sister's older than me, but like not by th- that much, just three years. But it's like, imagine like you being in a relationship and me sending you like, you think this guy's hot? It's weird, no? Mm-hmm. Like a little bit of it is weird. Like, so now imagine it escalates to naked photos of guys, naked videos of guys. Yeah. It's like, that's so uncomfortable. Disgusting. Yeah, yeah. I don't want it. Mm-hmm. I'm not accepting it. Yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah, you're declining it. And you're making it known. I'm not, like, I'm not happy with this. I'm yes. not happy with it. I yeah. Speak yeah. Out and just be like, never send me that again. Yeah, yeah. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. They should also respect the relationship too. Like, if yeah. you're in a relationship, like, you know, like, that individual has a girlfriend or a boyfriend, why are you sending them pictures of naked people? Like, that's what I'm saying. Why would you want to cause drama in that person's life in the first place? And then, second of all, like, why are you comfortable sending that person, like, stuff like that? You know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Nah, that's wrong. Facts. Factors. Facts. No. All right. Your turn. No, I'm so dude. disgusted. Your turn. Didn't you just say the question about that? I the said it. She said it. Oh, yeah. sending pictures? Yeah. Yeah, shorty. 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 See, like, look, a guy friend who I've had forever, and he is in a relationship. This guy's in a relationship. Mm-hmm. So he has me, and this is from work. So this is exactly, like, the example of, like, he was in a relationship when we met through work, but it's, like, we didn't develop a friendship until, like, constant mutual, like, work shifts mm-hmm. over the course of, like, a year. And we text, literally his text messages, all right, girls, time for the yearly update. How is everyone? And it's a group chat with me and Emma. Okay, and we literally that, talk, like, cool. once a year. And he, like, every now and then he'll be like, yeah, I moved for work. I got a promotion. And then Emma will be like, I got a promotion. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So we're, like he developed a new friendship through work and like it it through and it became like but again but again look you're in a group chat with another girl too in there oh true it's not one on one would you feel weird if your boyfriend was in a group chat with two girls i would right yeah look at how like wholesome this is like our last message you guys sent was um well he sent i don't like that (laughs) wait really no like the last time we messaged each other may 26th he said, because I changed my number by then, and he said, he was a, uh, this was a convo like me and Emma had in the group chat without you. And it was basically just like, how are you both? Emma's like, funny timing. I miss, I was thinking about both of you yesterday. She talks about her work. Like, I, I moved to Brent one. Like, think about how off little we talk that it's like every six months is like a life update. And I said, I moved too, blah, 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 blah. And then the last message is today after May 26th. I, don't know, I just have trust issues. I feel like, like if a guy did that, I like he, he's keeping tabs on me or something like that like what if his relationship doesn't work out he's gonna soup on me wait really i don't know am i psycho no, yes I, <laughs> I would never nah, expect man. that from him are you going to the bathroom yeah, no, okay i I'll just wait. i don't know I'll i wait. just that's just how i work like i don't care i don't care but why do you think you have trust issues like that like why do you because like, i I've, i like, used to be friends with guys and like so and then i realized they were a piece of shit I that's what i'm friends saying me too though but like the way that they would talk about girls and like their friends that are girls and stuff like that like one of them, one of my old guy friends was like yeah like 
if I am your friend, I had a romantic or like I want to get romantically involved with you. Okay, but let me tell you something. I have two, and I've always said the reason that I have these negative, like, l- like limiting beliefs about men is because I was so close to men as like a bro that I saw their ugly sides. I saw the way that they would talk about women. I saw the way that they would treat women. And now, like, of course, because I really want to come out of those limiting beliefs. But I, I recognize that those were g- bad guys. They were just shit men. They were not even shit men. They were shit people. And like. I, like I see good examples and for example like this guy named Logan like mm. we talk twice a year all he does is check up on work everyone talks about their successes their failures their life updates and it's like friendships you kept in college like this would be the type of person like you have a wedding you invite him and a, your wife mm. and it's like you know how you, like you have a wedding and like these are our college friends I guess you get what I'm saying like I agree with what you're saying so many guys gave me that perception and so many guys are that but instead of thinking all it's like those people are just shit like literally to literally look at another human being man or female as only a benefit to you makes you the shittiest person so it's like you're looking at a girl and all you think is like I want to fuck her or I want to date her Mm -hmm. you're shit literally you're a shit person if you look at another like a man and all you think is he's either going to provide for me or like in a romantic relationship monetarily or he's gonna be nothing in my life you're also shit true you know what i'm saying yeah so it's like it's not that it it, every single person who talks to a girl is gonna be like that but yeah some guys are just pigs Mm. you know what i'm saying agreed Let me let me ask a question. Okay, what do you think is more? This is a good one. Mm-hmm. What do you think is more likely to be unfaithful? Okay, and don't talk about us because with us, I know what the answer is going to be: girls' night or boys' night. Because with us, it'd be like boys' night. Boys. Because think think of like like a, a grand scheme of things. I and I also agree, boys. <gasps> boys, good question. Like I think bachelors or bachelorette, and I think the bachelor's party would be the worst. Oh yeah, 100%. Because the guys, this is your only night to be free. But I don't get that. Like, when were you free? Okay, but again, but, but again, but I this is your last it. night as a free, like you weren't what? free through this entire relation, relationship and engagement. Like what? So like, is it okay? Like what? Oh, that's honestly crazy. And my girls next will get like that. matching satin dresses yeah. and like just do like their makeup and like PJs. They'll we'll like just hang out with girls. They'll like Don't twerk with, next to each other with like those little twerking games like with ping pongs yeah. on their butts and they all laugh like but like i literally like if i'm like okay forget bachelor and stuff like that like girls night boys night like literally like if uh, like guys on a don't dance on each thing, other that's what i'm saying like girls go and like it's you and your girls like dancing you and your girls like having fun right like i could literally spend all night like if i if i have like at least five girls that's enough for me to be like feel like the entire like let's say club i don't like clubs but the entire party is just us because we'd move mm-hmm. like that but it's like if i boys are going to a boys night like mm. where are you going yeah and where, when, like when where you are to- these boys okay because uh, this let it out idea. let it out the places that guys will go that cater to guys to attract women to it mm-hmm. those places are run by women wait what do you mean explain like like say do you have bombshells here no uh hooters yeah like those are those are places that guys will have their guys night at you you know yeah ew i forgot hooters existed you just unlock the memory if my man goes to hooters like i'm gonna be like dude i can't get your fried chicken and and like those those things are catered to men and like those are places that guys go in because guys don't go to like cute places like girls do like, oh, wait, do you think a girls' night in a club is okay if you're in a relationship? Yeah. I think it's okay, but... Yeah, because I, you're going there to have fun with the girls. Okay, but, like, let me ask you something. Do you think a boys' night in a club is okay in a relationship? No. See, why, though? It depends. Because guys literally go to the club. Like, you don't see guys dancing with each other. Okay, but let me, ask with each other. let me ask you something. Let me tell you something. Anyway. Let me tell you something. Why I disagree with that statement a little bit. If I was a guy, I would hate my girl going to a girls' uh, to a club for a girls' night. Like, let's say she's into clubs. Like, you can go to the club. Like, if I knew that about you and we started dating and you just like clubs, go to the clubs all you want. But, like, I'm talking, like, uh, like grand scheme. Like, if we're saying this or that. A girl's night in a club is worse than a guy's night in a club. And I'll tell you why. A girl has to do nothing and will be hit on 100 men at the club. A guy has to take initiative to be hit on at no, the club. No, no, no. No, girls are no, no girls. A lot of clubs. times, girls are worse than guys. Yeah, like at I, the was club? With, yeah, I was with I was with Ralphie here at a bar, They're and bold. these girls were groping him. Like they groped him. 
bold, bro. Bold. So it's so it's same. It's, it's equal. Same. I would say they're it's both equal. bad. Then honestly, I yeah, just no, like I got I'm in a relationship. I don't feel comfortable going to a club. Just saying. Yeah, yeah with, I, but, uh, with me too. Me, but I just don't like clubs, so I hope my partner would. Like yeah, yeah, me too. That. Well, I I like going with my girls, but we make it known. No one approaches us. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because like, we yeah. stay like if anyone does, it's it completely ignored. Yeah, there's yeah. no acknowledgement. There's it nothing. On the it's person. just. It's just we're together, and a lot of times people don't, they just don't approach us. Yeah, I thought they, genuinely, they like, at the clubs, like, guys had to, I'm also really, like, inexperienced with clubs. Only time I've been in clubs in Vegas, and I was, like, so drunk that I, like, don't recall specifics. But it's, like, I would think that guys have to ask girls, come to our table, dance with us, I'll buy you this, versus no, girls bro. just have to dance around, and then a guy will invite them to their table. Nah. Well, that does happen. To, yeah, that happens, but girls are also really bold. Yeah, and uh, girls, you can also buy your own tables. Yeah, but girls don't do that most of the we time. Do, like sometimes. Sometimes, yeah. like if you have a girls' like, night, like I could imagine, yeah. like guys get together and you buy a table, right? But like I just mean, like in general. Yeah, if you're just going out, like two people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I don't know. I have a, I have a good question. Mm-hmm. Is going to the strip club considered? Yes, yes, yes. 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 That's also just ugly. I feel like everything we talk about is like yes, it's cheating, but it's also like you do that and you're ugly now. You're disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't want to be associated with you. <laughs> She's like so passionate about it but i agree i see so you're like it's just ugly it's more of like why out of sight out of mind baby but can i be honest like i say that but at the same time like a part of me like uh, but i know it's so different and i'll tell you why it's different and i'm gonna sound like a big hypocrite when i say this mm-hmm. but it's different for mm-hmm. a girl and a guy like if if guys and his guy friends are going to a strip club and they're like imagine being like a regular at a strip club like imagine oh, your boyfriend. that's so disgusting <laughs> imagine your boyfriend walking into a strip club hey, i'll take the usual <laughs> Uh, i can't i'd be like boom yeah but, okay um i feel like like i like you know how there's chippendales at vegas i think that would be so funny as a group of girls oh yeah because it's the, like literally we don't see it sexual we see it as like ah, funny that's what i'm yeah. saying what i is, feel like girl, i don't know what it's that like is. magic mic but it's like funny like they dance to music i think it's funny that's what i yeah. assume it is it's like a bunch of like it's like a strip club for men but they like it's like a, they're performing at the same time and they're not and i like I've always said I've never been but I've always said like oh my god I think it'd be so funny to go with girl, like my girls but I don't I see it so differently because we would get drunk go laugh feel uncomfortable like it would be humor yeah. but guys go and they like have a heart on I okay, wouldn't but, do but, that with a, in a relationship though but no listen. okay I agree I agree but Li- I mean like in, in okay yeah we're talking about relationship but like yeah. in general like a guy going to a strip club I think is ugly ugly and if you're in a relationship it's cheating it's che- yes and also can I can I tell you guys the difference like look at the difference between a men's strip club and a woman's men's strip what? club men's strip club versus women's strip club women's strip club it's literally a stage and then it's like seats okay right uh-huh. like magic mike and stuff like that it's like seats like a show that's what i'm saying it's like a show but yeah with, with men's strip clubs it's like literally women's like you walk strip clubs in, is what you mean like the woman the, is stripping yeah the woman is when the there's woman like is pole. stripping there's a pool women are butt naked like, yeah like vagina and then, out and then you pay extra to get like a lap dance and stuff look at the difference between the strip clubs bro yeah. that says a lot women go for entertainment men go for temptation yeah i i've never seen both of them to know exactly like if there's a big difference or like aren't they i would think that like i mean i've for never been to eyes? i've never been to I either google it real quick yeah but like from what i've heard and seen yeah i like, do on agree that like chip and dales is like a show that's yeah, what i remember it being like that's what i've always been like i've always want to go because it's like magic right. mike yeah but then the other one is literally like vaginas Naked, out. Naked, bro. You pay extra and you literally like basically have sex in the room. Yeah, that happens sometimes. Yeah. 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 Look at the difference. Yeah. No. Th- doesn't that no. yell something between both no. genders? Like no. between the genders? No. Oh, Ivan. I'm so disgusted by society. I'm not even kidding. Like this is disgusting. <laughs> raise your <laughs> men right. Like this is right. disgusting. I, I, have have another, I can't wait to I raise a baby boy question. for this reason. I'm going to be honest. And, and a baby girl. Like I want to make two beautiful like m- boys and girls. Like, yeah. I want to shield them from this I have another question. I know your answers. Okay, run it. Is blank but cheating? I just wanted to get, I just, yeah. I just, I just want, I just want people to, to comment. Hmm. Is your boyfriend asking for a threesome cheating? Yes. Wait, what? Yeah. How would that not be? Oh, yeah, okay. That's cheating. Wait, just asking? No, it's not. If he just asks, it's not cheating. It's cheating. I would. Uh, why? What, why no, is he thinking about it? Why, why, why is he having this thought? Why are you thinking about it? Why is he having that thought? Is not cheating. Cheating. 
It is. It's cheating. emotional. It's emotional cheating. No, emotional cheating is like loyal. emotionally connecting with. <gasps> no, you haven't been disloyal. No, so it's like whenever why you are think you about, about it? why are you thinking about why are you having thinking yes, about it? that's what that is. It's why are you thinking about it? But yeah, it's not cheating. It's, bad, it's, it's cheating. cheating. There, no, it doesn't classify as cheating. Yes, cheating. because then you're asking, would you have a threesome? Because you want to have a threesome. Okay, let that's me tell you something. Cheating. This is ugly for a man in a relationship. But a man in a relationship think about cheating you. Let's say if he thinks about cheating you all twenty years, but he doesn't cheat on you. He hasn't cheated on you. That's cheating. But he's what? just he's just he's emotionally ugly. cheating. He's thinking about it. That's cheating. No. I would say he's emotionally he's cheating. cheating. <laughs> I said I say cheating. I'm so dead cheating. cheating. He has he's cheating. Like I, I would be unattracted to cheating. 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 He has cheating. <laughs> he's literally like not cheating on you though. But, but he thought about it, so he, therefore <laughs> he's cheating. You're trolling. It's okay, so if I think about okay, if listen, I, I'm, if I, I listen, listen, out, like, I listen, listen, listen. I am preparing for a bodybuilding show and I have to eat us i can't eat hot cheetos i think about eating hot cheetos for three weeks but i don't eat on them it's not the did, same. did i have a cheat meal no it's not the same why is it not comparable that's not comparable why is it not comparable it's literally the same it's not the same you guys, not, you're, you're think, really think about it think no, about it. it think about it so so you're saying that if your boyfriend kept saying that like, he's like oh i i think about cheating on you like once a week yeah. i think about cheating on you every day like yeah. anytime i see a girl i think about cheating yeah. on you. you're cheating no I well, still think it's cheating because why, why is he thinking about it? Cheating. Why is why is he thinking about it? Because he's having because he has no self control. He's ugly. His mindset is weak. Exactly. He's, he's so would fragile. You leave him? He's, yes. He's exactly. Fr- but not because he's cheating. cheating on me. I would leave him because I would consider that cheating. That's cheating. I would leave him because I would consider him unattractive to me now. Because I'm just like, ew, you're because frail. Because he was thinking about that because he was cheating. <laughs> no, he was cheating. <laughs> that, listen, That's I cheating. have a coach who's <laughs> put me on a meal plan. Every time I <laughs> no, cheat, no, listen no, to me. Stop. He stop. Stop. No, stop. Stop. Yes. stop. Stop. Because listen, no, no. no. Listen, let me finish. Let me lead to it. Let me. Please let cheating. me finish. Okay, I have a. Let me finish all the way. All the way. This is a perfect analogy. I have a coach who has written me a meal prep. Okay, meal plan in order to get me on stage for a bodybuilding competition in six weeks. He tells me every single time you have a cheat meal, you text me, I cheated. And I go, okay. I think about having a cheat meal for four weeks. How many times do I text him I cheated? Zero! Because I didn't cheat! But you thought about it! <laughs> that doesn't count, though. But no, listen, it's emotional. No, no emotional. That's emotional that's cheating. cheating. You're emotional cheating food. is connecting with someone on an emotional level. You would connect with your partner. Physical cheating is connecting on a physical level. You thought level. about it, but you thought that's about emotional. It. You thought about no, it. No, that's not emotional. You that's thought thoughts. about it. That's because then that's the same as like watching porn. You're just thinking about it. No, yeah. you're not. You're you're literally watching another naked person. You're cheating. But what about what about thinking about one and jerking off to another person? That's not. That's okay. the same thing. That's cheating. It, that's yeah, cheating. Exactly. That's it's cheating. the same thing. You're no. thinking about having sex. No, but you're literally if you're if you're literally like that's not cheating. I would be honest like it, no if you're imagining something and you're jacking off to it like and it's not your partner that you're imagining like i would but wonder you what would you're assume imagining if, if they're thinking about having sex with another person and they're wanting That's to have a threesome cheating. they will they probably already have had a threesome and without no, you jacked off to that person 100 percent 100 if they did that that's cheating. because that, why would because, they want to have sex with another person because why would they want they already they want to have sex with that person which is why they're asking you but that doesn't mean they jacked off to that person i know they but that means that they look at them sexually yes and they want them that's sexually cheating. that's cheating that's cheating no that's desiring aka cheating Lust. No, and if AKA you control ask, your desires, no, but you have not cheated. But, but, but why are you having desires for another person who's not your yes, partner? Yes, I agree. Because that's cheating. That's cheating. No, that's cheating. That's cheating. The, hey, it's if, cheating. If, if you're listening to if, this podcast, listen, right if you now, have please tem- comment. Hold on, I'm honestly curious. If you have temptations and you don't act on your temptations, you have not cheated. Why are you, you just are being tempted and you have you're so having then desires? You need to leave. Yes. I agree with that. You're a He's, cheater. You, no. <laughs> Stop <laughs> it right now. I need this clip to be on my story. I need this clip. I need this. I'm going to go let's pause and unpause it because I need this portion of it to be on my story. <laughs> like, I'm not doing it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll crop it and I'll send it to you. I promise I'll find it. Just pause it. Pause one hour nine. One, one hour ten. Okay. Okay. No. J- j- yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a cheater. Yeah. Cheater. 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 Okay, go. Anyways. Oh, no, you said that. Okay. Yeah, bro, I had like um, 10. Wait, what did I say? Would this? you be okay? Well, this kind of ties to our previous questions, but would you be okay with your partner having a bachelor party? And when I say bachelor party, I mean like you're, you're, the boys take them to a strip club. No, no. 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 You can have a bachelor no. party, but it can't be anything like that. No. Would you, would you, would you, would you, 
cut it off with your mans if they want to have a bachelor's party like that Dude, you know yes. what's so crazy I, let me tell you something i say yes okay we say yes and i do deep down think like i'm so impulsive and i'm so like like i always tell oh, yeah. people like i'm in a really when i'm in a relationship like this like i don't really tolerate much and i feel like some people say that but they still tolerate it yeah. like for me it's like the smallest thing will make me think we are not compatible and we shouldn't be together mm-hmm. if yeah. but that deep in there's factors to consider that we would never fully understand you have a wedding that you probably already paid for planned for getting ready to happen you your fam, like everything is done so it's like at that point do you i say yes so i agree with you guys i say I, yes I would, I would do you do cancel everything because he has a desire to have the bachelor party not even executes it he says yo my boys want to us to go to a strip club for the bachelor party and the fact that he agree wants to even ask you is so turn offish that i would be consumed by that and i would think about like the fact that i want to end it but i wonder like if i'm being objective the factors to consider then are so great that it's like what do you even yeah. do i would I feel like i, I made care. the worst decision of my life care. at that point I don't I wouldn't I wouldn't go through with it because same if he okay so that's what I, I think because, I would do too right because, now okay though. if he came up to me and was like oh my gosh the guys we're wanting to go to the strip club but I told them no because that there's no way there's no way I'm doing that yeah that's that, what I want to hear the, yeah that's what I want to hear but if he's like oh we're gonna go to the strip club for the back I think or like, be like oh I think we're gonna go to the strip club for the back I would I would end it I would, I would end it literally done yeah literally because that's, done. he Your should never equals. ever ever even think about wanting to have, to go like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. dude and i you best believe i'm gonna be stalking that entire night just to make sure they you know, i'm gonna have an inside i'm gonna have an inside i hired a pi right i hired a private investigator <laughs> no and i have no, you know what no I you know will, what i hope I like genuinely like the partners <laughs> we choose for life guys yeah. are gonna make us hopefully feel so secure that it's like it's like you don't even like I say like you don't even think about that like the thing is is like I'll tell you how deep my fucking issues go if you are having a bachelor's night and like you're not you didn't say you're going to the strip club like I don't think you're going to the strip club right like but I want to like spy on the night if you make me feel like I want to spy on the night true I swear to god you making me feel like that is gonna make me break up with you yes like I've been in situations like that before like if you make me feel like I have to stalk you when I'm not that type of person I have to keep tabs on you I have to watch your stuff to see who's talking to you the second you make me feel like that I'm like oh my god if you can't make me feel secure I don't want to be with you. I can't be with you because Mm -hmm. that'll fuck me up mentally. That's not the type of person I want to be and I'm not like that. I don't stalk people. I don't stalk my best friends. Like, let alone every person I've been in a romantic relationship, I don't fucking creep them because I don't want to. You need to make me feel so secure. Yeah, that like, it's like, if that thought crosses my mind, you've done something so wrong to me in our relationship over the course of the time and now I have to do that Mm -hmm. and at that point like especially if I'm like marriage status and I'm about to they're about to do a bachelor party and I feel like that I'm gonna be like bro I made the wrong decision and I'll probably end it Mm -hmm. so it's like literally I have to like it's crazy because that would be a really tell all for me how comfortable I am with him celebrating a bachelor's night and me really like just letting him do whatever the hell he wants like knowing that he's gonna make the right decisions Mm -hmm. agree you know what I'm saying agree Um, do you have any more questions no no do you no shit honestly guys if you guys are listening to this podcast please please like give your opinion we really do want to hear your opinions because like obviously we did not agree on each other's opinions 24 7 so we want to hear yours and honestly we just want to hear your mindset too and uh if we caused any trouble in your relationships we apologize but hey it's for the best and then <laughs> she, said, she said we did you a favor, a favor. okay he's a cheater dump yeah. his ass no actually you deserve no. somebody you deserve good full security full trust love. full love soft love and like, you should never have to convince yourself that something is okay if it's, it's not. uncomfortable with you if you're asking your friends hey is this okay just accept the fact that you don't like the way it feels exactly yeah. done literally and your partner should accept that yeah okay Okay, and, and if something is like you consider cheating, even though maybe it's not normal, if you consider that cheating, they have to respect it if yeah. they're dating you. Yeah, done. Period. Exactly. If this podcast was helpful to you or others, please, <laughs> everyone's boyfriend is gonna come like down. Le- leave a one <laughs> one star. I hope we make it on like the on the on, on like the mansplain TikTok when they're like talking shit about the the girls that talk on podcasts about this type yeah, of stuff. Who let girls get <laughs> microphones? <laughs> 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 Men suck. Men, Men suck. suck. Cheater, cheater, cheater. <laughs>
Musty Chris look at the direction of another Musty woman. Cheater, cheater, cheater. That's you guys, bro. <laughs> no, like seek help. Like actually, I thought I was broken, but you guys make me see. No, healed. I genuinely believe it's cheating. Like, yeah, if he looks like, at another woman, we're not even. Joking. We're not even. <gasps> joking. If he looks at another woman's ass, what we should do? Oh my! Oh! Oh my! The girls that Break comment. Up. The girls Break that comment. Up. Wait, hold on. The girls that comment. Girl, I do it with him, bitch. See a therapist. Like I'm being serious. See a therapist. Serious. I mean, yeah. No. 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 I mean, I'll no. look, but no. I'll look, but because I'm not. But I'm not attracted. Looking, bro, yeah. No, but if he's off. if he's looking, what? No. Let it out. No. No. You know what pisses me off when you're like walking and you see a man who clearly has someone else next to him, like a partner, and you walk past them and they literally turn around look at your ass or check you out and then turn back around and hug their partner i want to tell them like i I, you know what i hate by the way like 99 percent of the time that's like an older man at that point it's like how are you 60 years old still being enticed by like a 20 year old like i need you to really like lock in like really reflect with who you are right now you are 60 years old like there is no way an 80 year old grandpa should be getting like turned on by a 20 year old woman walking past Literally. them like, we need to stay in our age groups and and, and and see how guilty that they feel by checking them out that they hug and kiss their partner right after yeah it's Ew. like you're musty th- you're cheating you're a cheater cheater cheater, cheater. <laughs> i can't okay. dump him <laughs> no. we need a, we need to make a, 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 okay, a I will. completion <laughs> com- 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 <laughs> Compl- compilation 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 I'm of our saying cheater <laughs> no dead ass I'm gonna make a little TikTok cheater, 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 cheater. and then be like no <laughs> I have faith but it's so crazy I'm know. literally lying to myself out loud like, I know I'm gonna have to your eyes I'm a, yeah You're I wanna try cry to convince yourself. I wanna cry it's okay though okay. anyways um, I love you we love you guys we too. love you literal death like can't wait to see you guys next episode um, hopefully maybe Elena will visit soon or we'll go to Houston yeah. if we do we'll take our equipment because I know yeah. you guys like the trio podcast um, but don't don't forget to leave a review please yes. spotify youtube and tell them they were wrong dude and that it was not cheating <laughs> tell <laughs> her that she's wrong and that she's just trying to convince tell herself. her she's being too lenient the fuck <laughs> that's not even lenient <laughs> he thinks about <laughs> cheating no cheating. i wouldn't be with him though i established that that's ugly as because it's cheating no because, because it is cheating cheating because cheating because why wouldn't you be there if it wasn't cheating because like, like let's say it's ugly no, okay, no, no, no. i wouldn't be with a guy if he's not funny but that doesn't mean he's cheating i wouldn't be with a guy if he's weak minded because that but that doesn't mean he's cheating he's weak minded that's what cheating. makes him ugly that's what makes him unattractive but not because he's cheating on me he's cheating like i wouldn't go and tell other people i got cheated on after that <gasps> okay your man that's a really good explanation your man is thinking it tells you like oh my god i can't stop thinking about cheating on you with other people but i'm not doing it like he's confessing some kind of weird you're a cheater addiction. would you go afterwards break after breaking up with him which we would would you go tell your friends yeah i got cheated on in my past relationship yeah, yeah. what <laughs> there's nothing this is real life yeah there's Fuck no way yeah. this is real life right now yeah. Yeah, you cheated on me. <laughs> okay, I'm, okay, I'm ending it here. I love you. Bye. Bye. <laughs>